Hopkins. Practicing a football version of social distancing, I suppose, keeping themselves really eventful. In the last meeting at the end of October, there were three goals, three run there, alongside Paolo Maldini as the joint all to be honest, doesn't it? But we know exactly within this game, within that game that we saw before. That's the million dollar question, isn't it? I just love the fact that it's so nicely kind of put. Well, I think in the sense of what we've seen from Juventus, it's all about what they do. It's Connections in Masiello, Casata and Favilli. Gilioni gets his first league. Ronaldo's on 23 goals in the league now, having scored his ninth success. <laughs> Two clubs then that of Matuidi. And the first foul. First. We've seen a lot of football matches together, but it's just the sheer volume of noise. Yes, a crowd contemplating with regard to his footballing future. Two off the back of Masiello. This is Dybala. It's gone behind for the corner. It's to aim for, but didn't make anything of it. And a great tackle from Romero coming in to uh, get Genoa back on the Casata. And covered by Quadrado on the dismissal of Lucioni after around about half an hour. Actually, had done very well up till then. Teda dropping kindly here for Dybala. He's got Bernadeschi with him. I have dropped him. Then Toncourt catching Schoener in possession. Ronaldo! Well, fabulous hit. He's holding a lofty title to the end of the season. Bernadeschi fiercely struck and well beaten, clear by the former. De Ligt was pushed, surely. Big appeal. Pjanic with the corner. Leaves it. He won the first penalty for Jenner at the weekend. Ronaldo with another curler from long range. Oh, there we are. Juve looking... Quadrado. Uh, David's two separate seasons, many moons ago. <laughs> Lovely little touch on. That's very good closing down by Adama Sumaro this time. Well, that's too strong for in August, whether it's getting the Scudetto sorted. Lovely interchange, Dybala, Ronaldo. Dybala still going. And uh, once again, Adama Sumaro was the player responsible. Genoa just trying to keep them under wraps here. And Perina certainly played his part. Or Rabio. He was uh, dismissed late on. Rabio, decoy, the overlap from Danilo to the player in possession. That's a wicked ball in. Rabio comes in. Right idea, sweeping it wide. Didn't work out from Sumaro that time. And ultimately, understanding where it fits in the grand perspective of life. Great ball in, and Favilli played in by Romero. One on loan from Juve. Ross zipped in with real vigour, real purpose. Ronaldo in behind Masiello and Perrine saving a bullet of a shot. And I suppose, without being disrespectful, Romero jabs it. Perrine impenetrable thus far. That's Dybala. And Pinamonte offside. Dybala, wonderful balance, wonderful poise, and a quite wonderful goal. A goal that has been coming for a long, long time in this match. Perrine finally beaten, and the champions able to assert themselves once again. It's a testament to the patience that they've shown all the way through the game. I think once the Sanabria to wanting to be involved on this again. Final to play before the resumption of Serie A has helped them with their sharpness. And Nadeski steers his header just a fraction wide with the other runners around. And a Ronaldo. 
Options left and right. Cristiano Ronaldo, though, goes for goal and finds it spectacularly. Oh, my goodness, what a hit that is. Irrepressible, irresistible. Cristiano Ronaldo with goal number 24 of the season. And that flew off his boot. It whistled into the back of the net. Be able to witness a piece of history being made. He seems to, for one second, think that he's under pressure from us to perform, but he just turns up, does his bit to expose a Genoa team who is starting to look a little weary. What about that? What about that? Well, we have seen three exceptional goals. Douglas Costa wraps his foot around it. Juve certainly not letting anyone spoil their party this time around. Absolutely stunning. I know I've just asked you, Steve, which is your favourite goal so far, but I think I've just found a front runner. Oh, and it's come all the way through here for Pinamonte, who pulls one back. And that's the first goal that Juve have conceded since the return. Indeed, the first goal they've conceded since the 26th of February and the last game they played in front of spectators. It's the first time after a summer move. Be keen to impress, no doubt, have the extra little bit between his teeth as the ball is headed into the back of the net and Juventus have the lead. Bonucci, the captain. It's his first goal of the season. And ten minutes before half-time, the champions are ahead. It's changed the atmosphere somewhat, hasn't it? Captain's wandered forward, looking for a decent ball into the box. Just come straight off the six-yard line. Which he hasn't done. Here's Kwame. And he's found the back of the net. That's incredible. Time stood still, everybody watched. Buffon wrong-footed and the ball just spun into the back of the Juventus net. Genoa are level five minutes before half-time. This is not the cleanest goal you're ever going to see, but my word, it's wrong-footed Buffon. It's away from Sanabria, it's collected by Quadrado, who sends it in and it's turned home. And Juventus, deep in added time, win the game and guess who's got the goal? Number seven strikes once more. He's scored in every home match this season. And he's got a big goal here as it's played forward. Racing over the bar. I was expecting him to play it in until I saw his run-up.